Hey everyone, how's it going? My name is Eli and today we are going to be looking at what's inside the box and how to install this Emporia home energy monitor. Let's get right into it. Because you are working directly inside the electric panel and there are going to be hot wires there, Emporia recommends that a licensed electrician or a qualified person does this installation. Now if you are interested in learning more about the electric panel and how it works, I'll link a video right up here. It's an awesome video that talks through exactly how it works. What's inside the box? Well, flip it open, warning sign. Alright, here is the actual monitor that communicates. Little instructions. And the whole manual for this is on the app. So you download the app and then you get the complete instructions. This is a box of accessories. Your major CT clamps. And then in here I think we have the antenna. And then I got the one with the 16 sensors, so it has two boxes of these eight CT clamps in it, just like so. Open this accessories box, looks like we have the two jumper cables, a wire nut, the antenna, another wire nut, and then these plugs for all of the slots that you don't use on this. I think I'm going to use end up using all of them except for one at the top. Also this is the power cord for this. There you go. That's the actual monitor that communicates with everything. There you have the, where the antenna goes. This is for your if you have three phase power in most residential, almost every residential you just have the two phase power. And then these are all the slots here that the CTs plug into on the side. This is the power cord on the bottom, and again, and a little QR code to to get the app. Here on the box, it has a little diagram of the basic installation, so I thought we'd take a look at this before actually going out to the electrical panel. You can see you have the energy monitor here, and then you have these two current transformers up at the very top and that is measuring your incoming power into your electrical panel. And then you have 16 of these other smaller current transformers that go out to the breakers. And each of those will tell you how much power exactly is coming off of the individual breakers. So even if you have more than those, which is likely you do, you're still be able to capture your total power usage and then also be able to monitor each breaker. You also have a spot for an antenna. One thing that is important to note is the direction that these are installed. So these ones, it looks like it's an improvement from the previous model, but it actually has a direction, an arrow showing which way the breaker is going. That's important because it's gonna tell you which flow, which is the direction of the electricity. If you have them on the opposite way, it's just gonna be reading completely negative. So it's important that you have them all lined up the same way and that they're lined up according to how they're supposed to be. And then the bigger ones, kind of the same thing, have this sign, shows which way the breaker is going. Now, let's talk about the tools. What are you actually gonna need to do this installation? Very simple. Flathead screwdriver, a pen so that you can write down what the numbers on the energy monitor to the circuit so you can edit those later in the app and a hammer or something like that so that you can do the punch out for the antenna and that's it very simple okay here have the this is the solar hookup here the inverter this is a shut off for the solar going in, into this panel and then this is the main feed going up there's my meter and then into this electric panel here. So I just went through and I individually shut all of those breakers. 
I shut this one for my solar and then shut off the main power and then shut off this disconnect for the solar here. So now there should be no power between here all the way up to the breaker. So now I can take these two screws off and get the panel open. Get the screws off. So here's my one for my solar. And so these are the two different bus bars that these incoming feeds are going to. So incoming electricity comes in, goes out, and then comes back on these bars here. And then that all returns to the neutral, sends it back. First thing is to find a spot in here for the actual uh, energy monitor device. And in this box, I've got plenty of room. So I think right there, somewhere here at the bottom is where I'm going to set this, knowing that I'm gonna have a lot of cables running up on both sides. But here there's, there's plenty of room to run these cables. So if I know that my monitor is gonna sit somewhere right in here, I'm gonna choose one of those bottom punch outs in the corner there to put the antenna in. So that's what I'm gonna do next. Punch that out and then run my antenna through there. Next up is putting the two leads from here and running them to these top two. So again, these have that K and L showing which way the breaker is on. These just clip open like so, and then you put it over the wire and then clip it back on, making sure that the direction is correct. So they'll put it up on these two black big wires up here. And this is the most dangerous part of this whole thing, just because those are the only wires that are actually still hot. And those just get plugged into the A and B. And because I don't have a C, I'm going to grab one of those little plugs and plug that one just to prevent dust from going in there. That little guy there. Next up, we're going to be installing the power for this thing, just plugs into here. It plugs into there. And then what I'm going to do is, based off the instructions, my uh, blue and white, those two will just go back to the neutral bar. And then my red and black, I'll have to find two circuits that are right next to each other. So I can just use these two on the bottom here. I'm going to unplug each of those and then run a separate wire uh, to those. And you have to do two that are right on top of each other. That way you can get uh, both bars. So you can pick any two that are right next to each other, but I'm gonna just go ahead and select these two right here. Here is the final product. It looks a little bit like a spaghetti mess. But let me walk through kind of what you're looking at here. So as far as the power goes, my yellow or my white and blue leads both went back to this small neutral bar here. So you can see those in place. And then the other two, these wire nuts. So this black, that's the jumper from the breaker to here. This red is the wire power cord coming from the actual energy monitor coming to here and then this other red is actually the power going out this one's red because it's on a bathroom a gfi so that's what that one is and then the other one same story except for those ones just have to all be black right there and you can see all of these sensors kind of how they're connected in i just put them there one thing I did learn is because I have these breakers, a lot of them are the arc flash, the GFI ones, that there isn't a ton of room up here. So a couple of these sensors, I would trace the lines back farther down 
and just put the sensors down here more. But if you see any questions or anything that comes up, please let me specify. The one thing on the solar, this is my solar uh, breaker here, that it actually is the opposite. So it shows the breaker pointing back towards it. So because the power flow right, is generating and coming into here, and from here it goes up. So this one is actually opposite from the others. But besides that, you know, I tried pushing these back in, uh, tucking these wires under as much as possible, and yep, the panel fit. And next step, I'll have to give you a like a one month review. See, see how it goes. All right. Thanks for watching.